Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. This is Pradeep and you're watching Vlog of Note. So you guys know I'm obsessed with processors, right? That's why when we had rumors about the Unisoc T700 smartphone processor, we had to talk about it. Let's get started. So first of all, let me set some context here. Smartphones, specifically cheap Android smartphones, are becoming increasingly good over the past few years. First of all, you have very good displays. You have cheap AMOLED displays available on cheap Android phones now. Secondly, you have high refresh rate displays. That means you have a fast refresh rate like 90 Hz available on even very cheap Android phones. Thirdly, you have high megapixel camera counts. That is, you have 64 megapixels available on an Android phone that costs just $150. Now, the main problem with cheap Android phones is the processor. That's because Qualcomm, who makes virtually all of Android smartphone processors, actually isn't very good. The Qualcomm 888, the Snapdragon 888, is not at all good when you compare it to the Apple A14. That has a kind of a trickle-down effect, meaning the entry-level Android smartphone processors are not at all good. That's why when we had rumors about the Unisoc T700, we had to talk about it and we had to compare it to the other entry-level Android smartphone processors. First of all, the Unisoc T700. It has a single-core score on Geekbench of 370 and a multi-core score of 1300, which is actually pretty good. It is a 12 nanometer processor and it's an octa-core processor. That means it has two Cortex-A75 cores and six Cortex-A55 cores. It also has a Mali G52 GPU. Now, let's compare this over to the Exynos 850. The Exynos 850 from Samsung has an 8 nanometer process, so it's going to be more battery efficient. It also has a single core score of 170 and a multi core score of 1000. So the performance is not going to be very good. Now, this processor and the Unisoc processor are unique in the respect that they both support 90 Hz fast refresh rate. Finally, let's talk about the Qualcomm Snapdragon 460. Now that processor is a 11 nanometer processor and it has a single core score of 250 and a multi-core score on Geekbench 5 of 1100. So if you think about it, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 460 sits in between the other two processors. Now, the Moto G20 has a Unisoc T700. It has a 6.5 inch 90 Hz display and it's going to be available for a price of just Rs 13,500 in the first week of May or about 150 euros. What do you guys think? Would you rather go for the less power efficient but more powerful Unisoc T700 or the more power efficient but less powerful Exynos 850 or would you rather play it safe and go for the Qualcomm Snapdragon 460? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, please go over to YouTube, subscribe to the Vlog of Note channel, ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video and I will see you guys in the next episode.